Portuguese edition of the vlog, buddy. Any words? Nah. <laughs> How the hell did I end up in Portugal with this guy? Let's rewind. We were in London for a few days. We had some English fun and decided it was time to head somewhere else. And after a really shitty donut, I said, get the fuck out of here. So we booked a one-way flight back to Italy. We were headed to Capri, almost, until I nearly snapped my ankle in half. Okay, so this is how I almost broke my ankle. Let's run it back real quick. I was walking home drunk the other night and I saw this speed bump here. To the naked eye, it looks like it goes up and down like a triangle. So I jumped, tried to do a 360 and didn't notice how long this thing was. And my ankle landed here in these exact shoes and went crunch. It immediately swelled up and we immediately had to cancel our trip to Capri. In case you missed my last vlogs, Capri is an island that is not exactly handicap friendly. But my cousin Richie did happen to rent a villa in Portugal, so I shot him a text. And that's how we ended up in Portugal. So we rented a car and it was a two hour drive to Comporta. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> nice parking job. The Portuguese Nikki Beach. You made it. Oh, it's okay to take this Chloe's thing. favorite place in Europe. Portugal, love it here. Comporta was a unique beach town surrounded by rice fields, pine forests, sand dunes right on the ocean. It's the perfect spot to drink a lot of vodka. Oh, I want to get my sock perfect. wet. Perfect. Major tequila shortage here in Portugal. Thank God. Fuck tequila. It's a vlog for Good memories. Job. Just like in Miami when we were kids, right? Yeah. Say hi, ladies. Tequila shortage in Portugal. 2020. It's, an island. it's a small island. There's not a lot of tequila here. It's breaking out the good stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Monday or today? Can you take a photo for us, brother? Yeah, of course. After we had taken 100 shots on our camera and a vodka, we decided it was time for dinner. It's his birthday. Let's do a whole cake. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear yeah. Richard. Happy sweet 16, buddy. And we decided to have some more shots until eventually stumbling back to our villa and passing the fuck out. Day two, Portugal. Did absolutely nothing today. It was a good day. Do nothing today. Going to dinner right now. Hopefully the restaurant isn't shit because I picked it. Look at this pretty girl. Ready to drink some Portuguese mud? What? <laughs> what the fuck's that? That's what they call it triple triple at Tim Horton. Pronounce the name correctly and I'll pay for the bill. You're already paying for the bill. Ooh. Forgot my wallet, babe. Totally forgot to film the whole meal, but not bad. Pretty good. Time for a field trip. Today we're headed to Algarve, which is supposed to be a really nice beach park. Two hour road trip. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now I had heard Algarve is one of the most beautiful places in Portugal, but it is two hours away and I wanted to see it. So I told the people I'm going. Either you're in or you're in the way. Oh my god, baby spice, what are you doing here? Great for the ankle guys. A friend of mine had told me that Lagos was a beautiful part of Algarve that I had to check out. So that's where we went. This is where it all ends. And this is what happened. Third boat of the trip. Just when you thought I couldn't get any more romantic, except for this guy in the fucking back. I'd found this random place at the bottom of the cliff that basically was taking us on private boat tours for 20 euros per person. It was large. This is actually really beautiful. Shout out to Portugal. I'm not gonna talk shit anymore. That boy. A Portuguese canoe. There's nothing to film the nudist beach. Oh, that's the nudist? How do you say Titanic in Portuguese? If you end up in Portugal and somehow end up driving two hours to Algarve, I highly recommend you do this boat tour. It was so beautiful and so much fun. Magical ride ends here at the beach, Nikki Beach. <laughs> I 
After our little beach day, we decided it was time to head into the city of Lagos and go explore, maybe do a little dinner. What's up? It's a nice wall. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Woo. Oh, what kind of what kind of ball you got over there? Jesus Christ. <laughs> salute, salute, salute. Okay, okay. All right, well we did it. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye. I had one more night in Portugal and I wanted to spend it in Lisbon, which everybody says is a beautiful city, so I gotta see it for myself. Another day, another hotel. This is the Bessa Hotel in Lisbon, and this is the prettiest girl in the world. Excuse me, out of the way, I'm gonna turn to film. <laughs> After we checked into our hotel, we went to meet up with Richie and the gang who were about to have lunch at the Time Out Market. Time Out Market, Lisbon, large. Portuguese custard tart, Exploranza. It's like a Toronto after party. <laughs> you such a pretty smile, let's see it. <laughs> First time eating a dish nation 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 in Portugal. <laughs> wow. The reaction. She didn't close her eyes. She's not happy. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the Portuguese market right now and there's tons of food options and we couldn't decide what to eat so we decided that every couple was going to get one thing. What did you get? Tuna sandwich. What did you girls get? Croquettes. Oh. Croquettes. Okay. Give us the reasoning behind this. Uh, I don't know, it's very Portuguese. <laughs> okay, I got an American cheeseburger, also very Portuguese. What did you get? Alcohol. Okay, <laughs> very Scottish. <laughs> Well, I think this is the shoe and I think I won this contest. Reaction? Good? How is it? Not spectacular? No, it's good. Tuna fish is good. I need some sketchy croquette. I want to throw up. Veggie burger, cheeseburger. This burger is really good, guys. Dig in. Because I'm going to eat them all in like five seconds. Where are my rides here? After we had lunch and some Portuguese tarts, it was time to explore Lisbon. We drove around the city and did some shopping. Take us to all the picture yeah. points. Picture uh, points. Just to take it there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die in the I thought it was gonna happen in Thailand right after here. <laughs> Lisbon is Portugal's hilly coastal capital city. And this view encompasses the old city's pastel colored buildings and the population of 500,000. And yes, I read that off Google again. So we just came to this place called Park, which is on the top of like a parking garage, a rooftop. A lot of people slid in my DMs, told me I gotta come to this place and check it out, have a couple of drinks. The view is pretty nice. Let's check out the drinks. Let's go upstairs and see how it is. And it's fucking dead. Now Park Bar probably would have been cool if it wasn't in the middle of a world pandemic and there had been people at the bar, but there wasn't, so it was just us. Richard, say goodbye to the vlog. Ciao. Love to see you in Toronto. Yeah. Ciao.
Tchau. Aqui. We said our goodbyes and we had an early flight in the morning, so we decided to go for a nice quiet dinner and get the bed early. We have the squid, and what is this one? Cauliflower. And the dessert right in front of me. In the words of myself, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm done. Portugal. And swell. I'm out. See you never. Bye.